Welcome to the Center for HIV and STIs. My name is Dumisile Vanessa Maseko. I'm the laboratory manager in one of the sections within the center. So today I'll be taking you through our department so that you can understand the work that goes through behind the scenes and meet the team that conducts all the specialized testing that we conduct in our section. Our laboratory is divided into three sections and one of these sections is our serology laboratory and we have our one of our team members, Dutu Zile, who is going to tell us more about the work that she does. explain to our viewers what you do in this lab? Definitely. Um, so we get all our samples from our Sentinel sites for surveillance purposes. So we get samples for like blood for serological testing. We get swabs for the isolation of BV, or rather to look for BV. And we get swabs for PCR testing at the molecular lab. So however, we do get some referral um, specimens for special um, you know, testing cases like your uh, sexual abuse, um, resistance testing, and for treatment failure. Thank you, Dudu. Please tell us more about the serological test that you perform in this laboratory. Most definitely. So we're using Sarah and we're testing for HIV, herpes, hepatitis B, and syphilis uh, using the RPR um, reagent kit. So I'll be asking Charles to just to show you one of the syphilis tests that we do. Vanessa, this is Charles, and as you can see, he's performing the rapid plasma reagent using the sera from our blood samples that we received. So the results look as follows. So this is our positive control, negative control, and these were our patients. So number one was positive for RPR, the rapid plasma reagent test. One of the key functions of our section is to culture and monitor antimicrobial resistance of Neisseria gonorrhea. This is one of the commonest causes of meliorithritis in South Africa, and WHO regards this as a key pathogen. Let's meet Lindsay, who will explain to us how this is done. Would you please just take us through the work that you do in this lab so that our viewers can understand the importance of the bacteriology lab in the surveillance system, as well as how we also diagnose these pathogens. Okay. So in this lab, we receive our specimens from males who have the urethral discharge syndrome in the tra transport medium that looks like this. Or we can receive our samples directly on inoculated onto New York City agar, which is this here. And then following, so from this, I will then take some liquid amis and then inoculate it onto a New York City medium. From there, it gets into our incubator, which is our CO2 and we incubate our plates at 37 degrees. And overnight, I then examine the plates, and when I see something like this, then my suspicion index increases because this is how Neisseria gonorrhea will grow from a urethral discharge syndrome specimen. The next section of our department is molecular. So we're utilizing sensitive methods to diagnose STIs, and I'll be introducing you to Ilze, who will take us through those different tests that you perform. Could you please tell our viewers what type of work you do in this lab and the specimen types that you receive? Okay, so we are doing all the molecular testing in this lab. Um, so all the samples that come into us are being processed in a biosafety cabinet, as being done by Bianca using aseptic techniques. After processing of the samples, we do the DNA extraction on automated um, uh, platforms. And if we have a high volume of samples, we will do it on the Cube HD, which is a high throughput system. And if we have less than eight samples, we will do it on the Roche Mag Magnavir Compact. Okay, thanks Ilza. So tell us what happens once you've processed the samples in this lab and you have your DNA. Okay, so after the DNA is extracted, we set up validated in-house multiplex real-time PCRs for our different organisms. Let me go and show you the platforms that has been done. Great, so let's go. For any referred samples that we uh, receive, we do comp um, confirmatory testing and then we uh, do we report that on track care and a pathologist report is generated and sent to the clinicians. That's it. That was a snapshot of our department. And in summary, remember, NICD has a mandate for surveillance and research. So our section performs those on STIs. And just as a reminder, if there's anything else that you would like to find out, please visit the NICD website. 
And also remember that congenital syphilis as well as resistant Neisseria gonorrhea are notifiable medical conditions. And this you can do via the app or via the website as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Vanessa Maseko, South Africa. Keep safe and condomize. Goodbye.